Hello and welcome back to Cooking with Sarah. It has been a couple of weeks since our last episode and I am anxious to get back to it here. So let's just go ahead and get back in first person, get the hot bar back. Today we are going to be taking a look at Magic Farm 5. Um, we are going to look a little bit at food because that's going to be kind of necessary because your early game is going to get a whole lot harder than it used to be. So, uh, if you saw me um, playing Magic Farm 5 here in the uh, stream last weekend that I did for uh, Extra Life, there you go, get you some wood here. Let's just run into the TV kitchen and use a, or, I think I've, I've got a crafting table in here, here we go. Let's just make some sticks, oops, I said some sticks, there we go. And let's see, we need to, let's just pretend that we're brand new here. We need to make a hoe and oops. Okay. How about a shovel? Oh. And I'm not even going to bother to try it because I bet you can see what's coming. Pickaxe isn't going to work either. That's right. Vanilla tools are no more. You can still find them, but you cannot craft them in any way whatsoever. Even better. You go to your tool station here. If you were, let's see, I'm gonna just uh, <laughs> cheat in a little, um, rather than do the whole system here. Let's say, let's, a wood pickaxe head. If you actually manage to get one, Oops. Well, I'm going to throw that away. Um, because, if you remember last week, wooden stone pickaxe heads are no more either. So you cannot make a wooden stone pickaxe. What you can make, I'm just going to get that out of here. Oh, I'm still in the creative. Just make that go away. There we go. You can make a wood shovel. Whoops. I made a stump. Let's get out of there. About the only wooden tool you can make is a shovel. Now, what good does that do you? Welp. The first thing you're going to need to do is find some gravel. Because stone tools are no longer a thing. The only thing that stone parts are good for is to make casts once you get your smelter up, and I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. If you do not find a source of gravel in a big hurry, you're going to be hosed. Because what you're going to need, and it's actually harder than it used to be to get flint, and I will just um, hit it one more time here, and let's just pretend we got a flint. Oh, there's no more um, keeping the same gravel and putting it down over and over to get flints out of it either. Because once it turns into a flint, it's gone. But you will need to get some flint so that you can make a flint pickaxe. I forgot to make a binding. <laughs> make. <laughs> Let's just, um... Where are my bindings? Just uh, get a wood binding. That should be fine. I remember correctly. Let's just make us a nice flint pickaxe. There we go. Mining level copper. What does that mean? That means... Oh, crap. <laughs> that means I'm a dummy. That's what that means. Um, let's see. There we go. Copper. Tin. Let me just uh, put that back. And... <laughs> I did not come prepared today, folks. And let's just put that iron ore back. There we go. And let's get out of creative. There we go. Alright. If you try to mine tin or iron with that flint pickaxe, you're not going to get anywhere. Next step up is copper. And now what do you have to do to work with copper? Well, you've got to build a smeltery. 
So, right off the bat, you have got to find clay, you have got to find gravel, and you've got to find sand, and you've got to find a lot of all of them. I'm gonna, this is dangerous, but I'm gonna get back into creative here. I'm gonna show you right here how to build a smeltery. You're gonna need, on the bottom, nine seared bricks, seared brick blocks. And each uh, recipe of one sand, one gravel, and one clay is going to make two grout, which melts up into a seared brick each. Each grout is one seared brick. You will need four seared bricks for each block. You will need nine blocks for the base of the smeltery. You will need another eight blocks for the controller. And you do it like you would do a furnace. And let's just put another... Actually, let's put the drain here. For the drain, you need six seared bricks. Three down each side. Three, in, three empty spaces in the middle. For the seared tank, you need eight seared bricks. Individual seared bricks. With a glass in the middle. And let's just put uh, straight up bricks here. And you see how this is. You've got the nine down there. Then on each side, one, two, three, one, two, three. Any combination of tanks and drains will work. Or seared glass, which is a thing that I never bother to make because I need to, I just need to just get this, this thing going. Okay, once you place the last block there, you'll notice that the controller lights up. Now you need a couple more things here. And you can actually go up one more level if you really want to. I usually just do one level. But, just for the sake of illustration, since again I'm in a hurry to do this, I tend to do just one level. The more levels you put on it, the more metal it can hold. But, you will need something to hold your stuff. And to that end, you will need a casting table. You will need a seared faucet. Now, you need to make it go a bucket or so of lava. This is the fun part, um, because you will now have to make a... I've got just regular lava bucket here. You'll have to make a clay bucket to get lava. And the recipe for that... Clay bucket. There we go. Unfired clay bucket. Three blobs. And you have to throw it into a into a furnace. And it does have a limited durability on it. If I understand correctly, but just for the sake of illustration and ease here, I just use the old standard lava bucket. I'll just throw that back in there. So now you can just throw your copper in there and get going, right? No. No, you cannot. Because you have to, and these two copper ores, of course, don't mix, but they should go in there together. Yeah, they'll work. So, what you will need is to make something called aluminum brass, because you're not going to get gold at this point, unless you happen to get really lucky and find it somewhere. So, you will need some aluminum. And I will just grab a couple of ore here. And your flint pickaxe will very nicely mine that up as well. <laughs> if you're not in creative. Like a dummy. There we go. Ta-da. So let's throw that in there too. And once that melts, you will get some aluminum brass. And I will throw some more in there if necessary. But... This is where your stone parts are going to come in handy. So I'm going to just grab... Let's see, have I got that... Still got that wood pickaxe head. Well, why don't I just... Um, there we go. There is a... We'll do a stone one. You take your part, you throw it on the table, 
and let's see, Molten Loom and Brass, I have two ingots worth, good. Each cast is going to take one ingot, so just right click on the faucet, it'll fill up. Now you ask, why have I not made a Matic? Uh-huh. It turns out that in this pack, you have to have metal to make a Matic, so I'm going to show you that here in just a few minutes. But I'm going to go ahead and grab, just so you can see here, in fact, I've already made the pieces, but you throw your uh, cast on the table, and I'm going to need to um, get the rest of that aluminum brass out of there. All right. I don't think I have enough copper. Uh, I do, but it's got aluminum brass on top of it. Well, anyway. Oh, there we go. Now what happens if you don't have quite enough metal in your smeltery to make whatever it is you need to make? Well, just pour it in the casting table, break the casting table, put it back down, and there we go. And there is a copper pickaxe head. And I just took off with the... Uh, okay, I got it. <laughs> so, at this point, now you can finally make a mattock, so you can finally till your earth. Oh yeah, that's right. Until you get your smeltery up. No farm for you. The only food you're going to have at this point is going to be apples, like so, fish from fish nets, livestock, chicken, um, eggs, and if you get lucky and find a village, you better protect those gardens with your life because those are going to be your only source of vegetables at that point until you get mattock bits. Now, if you try to make a mattock with a wood tool rod, it's not going to work. The whole thing got to be metal. So you get your copper rod, you get your copper shovel head, you've got an earth tilling machine. Please note that also you can't make a sword until you get metal. Until then, you will be relying on a flint axe for all of your mining needs. Now, I'm going to put this um, copper pickaxe together here real quick like. I need a binding again. Let's see. You can also make stuff, parts out of bone. I'm not sure how they compare to flint. But um, early on, you're going to want to keep your bone as much as possible to make bone meal. I need a wood rod. There we go. Oop. Oop. I to throw the wood rod on the ground. Where'd you go? There you are. Wood rod, copper pickaxe head, and wood binding. Okay. Now you can get iron, right? 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 Can you? No, you can't get iron. No, you have to get one other thing first, and that is tin. And there's this kind of tin ore, and then there's another kind of tin ore that you're going to run into. But what you will need to do, much like you did with the aluminum brass, is combine copper and tin to make bronze. And I'm not don't remember the ratio right off the top of my head. I want to say it's three copper to one bronze, or one tin. Could be the other way around. But anyway, just throw your metal into the smeltery. It'll automatically mix them together as need be. And it's still working there. There we go. Molten bronze. Okay, I have one ingot worth of bronze. That's all I need. And pour that into your cast. Make yourself a bronze pickaxe head, which I happen to already have one in here, but that's okay. I forgot to make another binding. Get me another wood rod. And now, with this high-tech bronze pickaxe head, finally, you can get iron. Da-da-da-da! Excuse me, I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> <Achoo! sighs>
Excuse me. So. Your early game in Magic Farm 5 has just gotten a lot more diabolical. Since you can no longer make vanilla tools, and you cannot make any kind of a ground tilling implement until you get metal, what does that mean to you? Well, you better hope you spawn near a source of water that has sand and clay in it. This one would not do. It has a little bit of clay, but not nearly enough. You also are going to need to make a juicer pretty much right off the bat. As soon as you can get stone, make yourself a juicer and start uh, juicing your apples and wild berries. If you get an apple, save the core. If you spawn near a village, protect these gardens with your life because they're going to be your only source of vegetables. Now, since iron is now harder to get, unless you luck out and find a pickaxe of the core, like I did way back when, you can still make a clay bucket to transport water to help with your farm. However, again, until you get your smeltery up, you're not going to be tilling anything. So, you kind of don't really need it to haul water until you can till your ground or until you happen to find some harvest craft rice seeds which you can plant in water like so. You will need fish nets, you will need a fishing rod and if you happen to get near a village and get some wheat you got to use that to lure some animals in and make them happy. Chickens are actually probably your best bet because you do not need wheat, you just need seeds. So, I hope that helps clear up a little bit of the uh, new and improved Magic Farm early game for you. It can be a bit overwhelming. I'm going to get back in first person here, or third person, there we go. It can be a bit overwhelming. You saw last week uh, how I was flailing around trying to figure out what was going on. But um, just remember, wood, shovel, flint, copper, bronze, iron. And then from iron, you can get, uh, you can throw a diamond on it, and you can get cobalt, and you can get steel, and all that other good stuff once you uh, get that figured out. So, I hope you found this helpful. Next week, um, if I am home from Austin Comic Con in time, we will take a look at some Thanksgiving food and some big feasts and hearty meals. And I hope you enjoyed the show. Until next time, bon appetit. I will see you next time, folks. Bye-bye.